the dating game, where dates become mates and love is meaningless. As you know, this week is All-Star Celebrity Week on the Dating Game, and today's show features three eligible bachelorettes from that sexiest of occupations, real estate brokerage. Well, as you know, I'm the warm and wonderful Jim Lang. I'm superficial, and my hair is plastic. <laughs> Enough of me. Let's meet our contestant for today's show. He's Bill Walton. Bill is 38 years old, although he tells everybody he's only 27, and he says he's in great shape. You look great, Willie. His hobbies include talking about people from Princeton, talking about people from Florida, talking about people who rode crew, talking about people who went to Princeton and rode crew, and talking about people from Florida who went to Princeton and rode crew. Bill hails from Florida and graduated from Princeton where he rode crew. <laughs> Bill, you sound like a really interesting guy. <laughs> I shoot grass too. I bet you do, Bill. Are you from Princeton? Uh, I'd love to talk to you all day about did this, all, Bill. Did you all ever spend any time on the campus? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll talk about it later. But now it's time to meet our lovely bachelorettes. Bachelorette number one is a principal at Brooks Harvey. Lynn is into the leather and metal look typical of her crowd at CBGB's, where she can be found slam dancing with Etna's Elaine Sarsinski and Owen Wise Camille Douglas. Lynn is also a frequent competitor on the demolition derby circuit and enjoys hang gliding with kids Chez and Amy. Okay, say hello to bachelorette number one. Woo! <laughs> bachelorette number two is an associate at Brooks Harvey. Affectionately called the queen of the blue books by her colleagues, Mary was recently named the second sweetest person in the office, having been edged out by Paul Casalonis. Well, let's say hi to bachelorette number two. Bachelorette number three is an intellectual vice president hailing from the Yale School of Management. She is an investment banker by day and a philosophizing disciple of the Reverend Moon by night. Betsy, the uninhibited type, enjoys wild and kinky sex with the entire swap group. And secretly videotapes herself in Bill Barenberg's office on the weekends. Let's have a lovely dating game welcome for Bachelorette number three. I tell you, Billy, sounds like we got some hot ones here today. Why don't you start asking them some of our hot and juicy questions? Well, ba bachelorette number one, did, did you all go to Princeton? <laughs> Wait a minute there, Willie. That's not the type of sexy probing questions that gets our show renewed every year. Oh, okay, Paul, okay. Why don't you start asking them some of our prepared questions? Bachelorette number three, talk dirty to me. Euro bondage. Bachelorette number two? Stay a leash back with all kinds of exciting options. Bachelorette number one. Adam, talk dirty. Okie doke. Let's talk about real estate. Name something around Adam that you'd like to be on top of and has a great view. Number one. 55 Water Street. Two. The Merrill Lynch Building. Bachelorette number three. Steve Wheeler. All right, this is getting good. Anybody else want a beer? Hey, I'll take one. What creative securitized structure are you contemplating for the second half of this year? I don't care, so long as it's a domestic issue. Bachelorette uh, number two? A joint venture with First Boston resulting in a spinoff. I think it should take about nine months to execute. Well, sounds like about as long as it's going to take, huh? Bachelorette number three. I was thinking about a permanent marriage financing, but then I'm always thinking about a permanent marriage financing. What does a throbbing 40-foot building make you think of? Bachelorette number one, can you answer that for me? A wraparound mortgage. Okay, bachelorette number two? A very difficult but worthwhile private placement. And bachelorette number three, you've had some real winner answers so far. Steve Wheeler. Well, come on, baby, light my fire. I love this show. I love the whole sexist, chauvinistic format. God bless America. Anybody else want a beer? What's your idea of a good bonus, number one? Half a million dollars. Okay, number two? 300,000. And number three? Steve Wheeler. All right, Bill, I'm starting to get pretty drunk here, which means we're probably about out of time. It's time to choose. Will it be bachelorette number one, bachelorette number two, or bachelorette number three? Four 
before I answer that question, Danny, you like to shoot Kraus? I mean, I mean grouse. Yeah. Sorry, Billy Boy, no more questions. Time to choose. Well, in that case, I'll take Bachelorette number three. Why is that, Bill? Well, I think I'm a lot like Steve Wheeler. At least I hope I am. <laughs>